Hey guys, Shane here, Pocket Knife Review. Today, we're going to talk about the Spyderco Small. This is one of Spyderco's more popular releases. They've already started releasing different variants in this knife with different blade steels, different handle materials. However, this is the, the first design, and this one's mine, so this one's the one we're going to talk about. I'll give you a couple of size comparisons here. Here's my smallest Spyderco, a Dragonfly. It's not the smallest one they make, it's the smallest one I have. And here's my largest Spyderco. The Manix XL. I like all these knives. Reviews coming on the other two. Um, go over some specs here. This knife is 7.92 inches long with a 3.39 inch blade. It's hollow ground made out of S3V steel. I love that hollow ground blade. It makes it extremely slicey. Let's see if we got some uh, some scrap paper here. Somebody wrote something on. I don't know. Um, show you this knife. This, this glide steel material does a great job. Nice and sharp, it holds an edge for a long time, and I appreciate that. The scales on this knife are G10. It is not carbon fiber, it has a fake carbon fiber overlay that uh, has some nice, good good texture to it. It's not rough, it's just grippy enough. It has Spider Co standard compression lock. However, they added a button to it to make it even more fidgety. Uh, another design aspect of this knife was they made it, added two detents in here. Um, I can't give an opinion on how that works because I bought mine second hand. Somebody had already removed the second detent to make it even more fidgety. There's one reason why I bought this knife, guys. I told you guys before I had some nerve damage in my hands. My fault. And I couldn't spotty flick. And I wanted a spider code that I could fidget with. So this was my choice. And it worked out great. If you take all those, all those specifications and all those materials question you have to ask yourself is does it work does it make sense I believe it does the reason why I feel like this knife makes sense is because it's not a big knife it's very easy to carry you can put this in your pocket every day and barely know it's there As you can see I can almost fully conceal that knife inside my fist it only weighs 3.64 ounces so you're not lugging around a brick you uh it's, it is fun to play with it's fun to fidget with when you're bored what more importantly to me is it is a great cutter. That's what it was intended to be. It is a cutting tool and I appreciate that. This knife is made by Spider Co. However, it's not made in their U.S. plant. It's made in Taiwan. I don't have a problem with that. Taiwan is our friend. I'm not going to get into the politics of that. And like I said, guys, it's, it's not a big knife. It's not a hard use knife. It's just a good EDC knife. And I think if that's what you're looking for, then you're going to be happy with this knife. If you like a lot of the rest of us, you're going to be happy with that knife and 50 or 60 more, but that's just the game we play. That's the hobby we have, and we enjoy it. So I guess that's all I got for you guys today. Um, you know, keep your eyes open. You know, you never know when they're going to re release an, a new variant of this, or maybe you can find one on the secondary market. But peace out, and I love you guys.